the co-founder of TennisCodeKids.com. And if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video, comment down below if you like it, and subscribe my channel if you have not done yet. So today we are going to continue C++ operators. So without any delay, let's get started. Damn! So I'll just minimize my screen. Okie dokie dokie. Go to the name. Uh, okay, I've opened my Google Chrome. And here is W3 Schools. <laughs> Learn C++ Operators Assignment Okay C++ Assignment Operators Assignment Operators are used to assign the values of the variable It's saying Assignment Operators are used when you want to say that this is the value of this variable Then they are used in the example below, we use the assignment operator this to assign what the value assign the value 10 to a variable called x. So it's saying in this example we are going to use this assignment operator to assign that 10 is the value of the variable known as x. So, int x is equals to 10. Now, if you want to make a va now they always have to be a variable value. Now, if you want to make um, a value of the variable x 10, then you will have to give the equals to sign. The uh, addition assignment operator adds a value to a variable. See, it's saying that we say int x is equals to 10. So, x value is 10. Then we do x plus equals to 5. So, what would it do is it would uh, it would add uh, 10 plus 5 which is 15 and make plus equals to. So, it's adding first and then assigning the value that now x value is 15. And then we print it so we get 15. Now, these are the assignment operators which are used to assign the values to the variable. <laughs> so, this is the equals to operator. This is the operator. This is the equals to operator. So this is the example when we are using the equals to operator and the equals to operator is used when you want to assign a value to the variable and this is same as the example okay now plus equals to also we have done that first okay okay wait so plus equals to also we have done that 5 plus 3 it would do uh, and uh, then it would get the make the value of x whatever it is so 5 plus 3 is 8 and now 8 is a new value of x and then it prints it now this plus equals to is same like this we are just shortening the code. This is my mouse gets on. This is quite this is same like this, but this is used, not this. This can also be used, but this is more used. So it's saying that plus equals to mean is x is equals to x plus 3. This is what it means. Now it's same like the plus equals to there's a minus equals to operator. Now what it's the example is x minus equals to 3. So 5 let's take an example that we make a variable x and give it the value 5. 
then we say x minus equals to 3 so 5 minus 3 is 2 and we are doing minus equals to 3 uh, then so it has subtracted now it has made 2 the new value of x and then we print it it means uh, this this is used but this is exactly the same like this that x is equal to x minus 3. Then all these operators we did in the arithmetic operators but let's do. Now there is a multiplication equals to operator so it would now find multiply but let's take them example we are making a variable x which is equals to 5 we do uh, x is e x is x uh, mu uh, multiply equals to 3 so it would first do 5 multiplied by 3 which is 15 then it would make the new value of x 15 so this is just same like this x is equal to x multiplied by 3 this is what it means now is r now this is the division equals to so we take the same example now wait now we are doing No, why I'm doing that? Sorry, 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 sorry. So in this we are using the double, of course, double x is equal to five. Then we do x divide by three and see out x. So five divided by three is one point six 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 seven. So that is the new value of x. Then is the remainder equals to so remainder equals to is that if you do five divide by three, right? Then whatever the remainder is, it would be, it would be, and then that remainder is the new value of x. Ooh, what is the and equals to? <laughs> and equals to um wait a second it has not described this and equals to wait a second what are these wait i'm not able to okay 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 so this and equals to this this these operators are quite advanced so we we uh, we have learned these money and equals to this equals to this 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 these are all advanced topics which we'll learn about them later on then is a comparison operators and then will be logical operators so come sorry comparison operator comparison operators are used to compare two values we know if we are using the comparison operator we you will compare x value and y value like that Note the return value of comparison is either true one or false. It's saying whenever you're doing a comparison, it would rather get one or zero. One means true, zero means false. So let's see um, now in the following example, we use the greater than operator to find out if five is greater than three. It's saying in this example that first we are making two variables x and y. First value, first variable's value is 5, second variable value is 3. Then we are saying see out x greater than y. 
so this is the greater than uh, operator so let's see is 5 greater than 3 true so it would get 1 because 1 is equal to true and 0 is equal to false a list of all comparison operators so these are all the comparison operators so for one is equal to now the equal to operator is used when you want to see if the variable x and y vary y variable value are the same then if you want to see uh, not equal to now uh, um not equals to is something like equals to only it would if if x value is not the same as the y value then you give the not equals to so yeah five and three are both different so they are in this example five and three they are both different right they are different values so it's getting true because this is this condition is true then is this is known as the greater than sign this uh, in the greater than sign we see if the first value is bigger than the second value then there's also a less than sign now the less than sign means is um, if x value is less than y value. Now there is a greater than equals to sign. Now greater than equals to has two conditions. It will see that in greater than equals to wait. We'll I'll show you with the example. Now let's see int x is equal to 5 then int y is equal to 3 so we know that we are making two variables x and y one value is 5 one value is 3 and then you are doing x greater than equal to y now greater than equals to mean that the that in x and y or the condition or it should be greater than or it can be equal to this is what it means if one of them are also right then it would not it would not get zero as false okay and then the same like the less than uh, for the uh, checking that so this is and zero because five is not less than three and five is not equals to three also now last is are the logical operators now these okay so logical operators logical operators are used to determine the logic between variables or values okay so let's see there's an and and operator the name is logical and and what is the description returns true if both the statements are true oh okay okay so it's saying that um if you use the and and the logical and operator then it would get one as true if both the statements are true if one of them also are wrong, it would get zero. Okay. Then is a, this operator. Now, how will you get this operator? It's shift. How should I check? Wait, I will have to do full like this. So, if you want that a sign then you will have to click shift sh shift and this one this one together if you want logical that operator which one the logical or operator if you want now let's see what does what does logical or do 
logical law returns to one statement is true wait <laughs> okay so it's saying that logical or is used if um if one statement is true so let's see x is x is greater than 3 this is true but x is less than 4 that is false right so it saying if one of the condition is also true it would get one because one means true but if we had given here this then tell me what would have come guys tell me guys tell me guys tell me guys tell me come on this is so easy <sighs> it says if one of them also if both of them are true then it's okay but if one of them is also true then it's correct then it's also okay now there is a logical knot so this is the operator and this name this operator's name is logical knot reverse the result returns false Ooh, this is quite one I will have fun telling you about this operator. So this is the logical not operator. Now what does the logical not operator do? If the output, the output is true, if it's one, then the logical operator would change that value and make it false. If the value is false, if the output is false, then it would reverse the result and make the value true. Okay, so let's see. X is greater than 3. This is true. And X is less than 10. This is also true. Right. So we are using the AND, logical AND. But these both statements are true. But we have given this uh, logical NOT operator. So, the output was going to get true, but this logical not operator just reversed it and made it false. Okay? Guys, we have already done. Wasn't it fun? My favorite part was uh, telling, about you, uh, telling you about the logical not operator. That was quite cool, right? So guys, I really hope you liked the video. If you did, smash that like button and I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Oh guys, before we before we end the video, before I end the video, I'm telling you that today I will be making a video of Tiamo, dancing on Tiamo. So do view it also. So guys, I really hope you liked the video. If you did, smash that like button and I will See y'all next time. Good. Bye. Then. Bye. See you soon.